In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to work with fairies and nature spirits, whether you believe in them or not. And this is video number three in a series of three videos about how to work with the fairy and nature spirits realm. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome to the Charmed Live channel. This is my channel on metaphysics, mysticism, magic, and the unconditional love of the universe. And I am your host here. My name is Trisha Carr. I am a hypnotherapist, a spiritual teacher, empathic channel, and a fae whisperer. Yes, that's right. A fairy or fae whisperer. All of those titles that I just gave you will actually lend themselves to this video topic. What are fairies? What are nature spirits? And you can actually work with them even if you don't believe in them. So before I get into some of those details, let me invite you to like, subscribe, share, comment, and click the little bell so that you get notifications for when I post more videos. I'm also on Instagram. You can find me by looking for at Trisha Carr Charm. And then, of course, I have a podcast, my podcast that I have been, uh, I've had for 20, since 2016. So that's like six years, <laughs> whenever it is that I'm publishing this one. And that's called Charmed Life with Trisha Carr. You'll find also on this YouTube channel excerpts of the full length podcast. So the full length podcast, usually, if I'm having a conversation with someone, might be about an hour. And I'll do video excerpts, little samples of those conversations here on the YouTube channel. And then both on the podcast as well here, I'm doing, you know, solo videos and solo podcasts, much like this one, where I am chatting about different topics that have to do with metaphysics, mysticism, and consciousness expansion. Okay, let's get into our topic. All right, as I promised, I wanted to tell you about how you can work with nature spirits or fairies, even if you don't believe in them. And that is because hypnotic imagery is beneficial to anyone. Hypnotic imagery is what is occurring when we meditate or when we are able to shift out of a high beta state or a fight flight state, shift into any brainwave state that is related to alpha, uh, theta, delta, any of those. So it's very, you know, you could even say you could take it into the intention into your dream time too, because you might be in those deeper states, but that is a hypnotic imaginal time. And in with hypnotic imagery, we suspend disbelief. Suspending disbelief gives us the freedom to be, again, the omnidimensional being that we are, gives us the freedom to work with what could be and, and how we can be inspired, how we can be filled up outside of the conscious mind, because the conscious mind really is, it only knows what has already been. It's not in charge of creating. It's a char in charge of observing and assimilating and executing tasks, but it doesn't bring in new information. It is not the creative mind. I mean, in a sense it is, but it's really, it's meant to just execute the skills and tasks and to be, to manage data. It can also, you know, it, it's in charge of logic, willpower, decision making, and um, analysis. And those are all fantastic qualities. And we actually really need the conscious mind for that. Sometimes when we're working, when we are in a fight flight state, what the best thing we can do is to go a little deeper so that we can come up fully awake and be present of the conscious mind as well so that we can focus and we can be logical and we can make decisions, you know? So that's fantastic. However, for new possibilities, new creations to come into our life, we work with the subconscious, the superconscious. We work in the realms of consciousness that are in the inner dimensions and the higher dimensions, as we've, I've been talking about this whole time. And that's what hypnotic imagery benefits us by. And so even if you are like when you're watching a movie, you have suspended your disbelief and you're allowing yourself to move emotionally and and with your thought energy through this different story. And it's actually, if it's a positive and if it's not dark and damaging, to toxic and tra traumatizing, it's actually helping you to be more creative and come up with creative solutions. So that's what we're talking about. Now, I personally am a very literal suggestible. So for me, 
It is beneficial for me to experience the nature spirit realm and the fairies as real, literally. Now, the literalness is not physical, not material 3D, but it's proximate. It's within that same area. And also, it I rather say that belief is something that we are meant to use. It's not supposed to use us. So I don't even like to say I believe in fairies. I say that I experience the nature spirit realm. I experience working with Fae, and that benefits me. That's how even if you don't believe in fairies, you can actually work with them. You could go into a self-guided or a guided hyp hypnotic state. Once again, meditation is hypnosis. And anytime you're using a guide track or there is a, a teacher or a guide leading you in meditation, they are actually hypnotizing you. Now, hypnosis is something that you agree to. You allow yourself to slip in to the state. You allow yourself to suspend your disbelief. That's really how it works. And if you um, allow yourself to slip into those realms and call forth nature spirits and have the intention to work with them, you can also work with them in the daydreamy alpha state, which is kind of contemplative too. We want to make sure that we are not overly analytical about it, but if we kind of just drift and dream you know, if we're journaling, there's a different ways so that we can actually pull through creative information and that attunement that will benefit us. So that's what I have for you in this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to remind you again that I would love to have you like, subscribe, share, comment, and click the little bell so that you can get notifications for when I post videos like this and many more. Also find me on Instagram at Trisha Carr Charm and um, my podcast, and that is Charmed Life with Trisha Carr. So thanks so much for tuning in. I love you, whoever you are.